In this SEO crawl review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software SEO crawl. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discount and link down there so you can always get your money's worth for SEO crawl. SEO crawl is a software that generates actionable SEO reports with your search console and Google Analytics data. This is what you should see once you're first signed up or even first logging in. So I'm gonna quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm gonna dive deeper into each feature. So up in the top left hand corner is the SEO crawl logo, which is actually clickable, which is great for most softwares. And it's a really good feature for this software. Once you click that, it should take you to the main page and nothing more. So to the right of that, we then have the My Projects. And if you go ahead and click on this little arrow here, it actually opens up a search bar where you can go ahead and search your projects if you have a load of projects. So that would be if you are actually logging in after already using this software before and you go ahead and search all your project's names on whatever you've named them right there. All the way to the right hand side we have a little help section right here. If you click that icon it should open up the help section. To the right of that we have a notification bell icon and if you click that that's where any notifications for your account in the software would be. And then finally to the right of that on this top bar there is the account section. And if you click the little arrow, you can go on my profile, my tasks, subscription, change the language if you want to, to all of these different languages and log out if you wish to do so. So that's it for this top bar. It's just got all of the main features of the software where you can navigate it. And that's pretty much it. On the bar below, we have the upgrade plan section. And this is if you are on a free trial or a different plan. Personally, right now I'm on the free trial and you guys might be as well. So on this section, it just gives you a little congrats for starting the starter trial. You can upgrade it if you like the software. And then it tells you how many days you have left on the free trial. Currently, I have seven days left. So then down here is the main section of the software. So now we've created our account. You have to go ahead and actually add a project and then finally sync your API. It says right here, welcome to SEO crawl. Add your project and start receiving real time insights to take your SEO growth to another level. So we want to go ahead and actually click add project so you guys can actually click that as well and then we can start running through the features of having a project on this software. So after you've went ahead and clicked add projects you should land on this page. Now what this page is it says add your projects. Personally I do not have any projects in the search console with the email I've used. It says please switch account and you'll be able to see them however for you guys once you're actually doing that on the search console and you've added the email you use for that it should take you through to the next page. So this is pretty much all you have to do on this section though. You just add in your email and then the software does the rest. So right here is my email, but obviously it's hidden. And then you'd go ahead and actually go through the process with that. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. So next on the top right hand corner, we're gonna to go to the My Task section. And then on this My Task section, once you are on it, you can actually go ahead and see your tasks where it says My Task. So right here it says my tasks and you can actually search by task, see the status, tag, date, priority and the projects. This is a cool feature so if you have any tasks within the software you can go ahead and actually run through these and see what you have. Again you have to be signed up though so that's what you'll have to do. You can also change by the project or even by the date which is also a really good feature. Next on the profile section once you're on this section you can actually go ahead, edit your profile, subscriptions, personalization, and then password reporting, security, and settings. The personalization is a cool feature within the software. If you want to go ahead and actually personalize your account or dashboard or area or anything that you are using within this software. So right here on the profile, we can edit the profile. You can change your icon or anything. You've got your email there or your email to the right of it. And then you can change your first and last name or whatever you want. Back to the left hand side we can go on to the subscription if you are actually liking the software so far and you can go ahead and actually add in your emails and then if you are liking it you can actually choose to upgrade your subscription right here but right now i'm on the starter free trial back to the left hand side on the personalization this is where the features get better so you can actually go ahead and add your custom logo you can actually add a custom expanded logo you can change the color of it by a main color or even a secondary color for the text or the main is for the buttons slash graphs and then you can actually save your changes on the right hand side it gives you a little preview on how these changes would actually affect your account 
or anything like that. So as you can see here, we have the logo or the expanded logo. And then once your account is linked and your email is linked, like I showed you before, it should start giving you the insights to what you linked it to. So that's pretty much it for what that does. And now you can go through your passwords or even reporting or even the security and settings. On the settings, you can choose to delete your account if you want by just clicking this button. All the way to the right hand side, you can go ahead and actually have a feedback section. This is a really great feature for a software in case there are any bugs or problems with the software. And it's a really good section to actually add within your softwares a feedback section for your community. So once you click on that, you can also report a bug. Let us know what's broken. You can actually feature a request, tell us how we can improve, and then also give a general feedback if you want to go ahead and just give any general feedback. So you can give general feedback of this page and then pretty much it is a way to actually connect the community with the software developers and show them what needs to actually happen and how the software could actually improve. So then if you actually end up liking this software like I've just shown and once you have linked your account with what you were actually linking to the software and started seeing your analytics and enjoying it, you can actually go ahead and click upgrade plan. And then once on the upgrade plan section, like every other software, you just enter your email right here and then all your information, see what you're buying and then buy the software. And that's pretty much it for what this software has to offer. And there we go. That is it for the SEO crawl software review. Overall, it's got a couple of good features that I like and a couple of bad features that I do want to bring up. So the few features that I do like at first is how minimalistic and simplistic the software actually is. It's pretty easy to navigate once you first log in or sign up. So for any beginners wanting to actually get into this type of software, it is pretty straightforward. I really like how, again, easy it is to use, but it's also good for professionals if they want to actually go ahead and expand their knowledge within the software. A feature I don't like is how simplistic it is. And I know I just said I like that feature. However, sometimes it can be too simplistic and there does need to be a bit more going on within the software but again with the same minimalism. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. Anyone who's looking for this type of software, I would recommend it. However, there are some good ones out there and you would just have to mix and match and see which best one suits you. Would I use it myself? Personally, I would not use this software myself. I'd go ahead and see if there's any better ones out there before I actually go ahead and dive into this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.